So a while ago we talked about possible upcoming features that we might get to see soon being added in No Man's Sky. At one point we made a video before the Beyond update went live and we went over this list of data mined features that were uncovered around that time. A lot of these features as a matter of fact seemed quite improbable at the time but many of them did eventually make it into the game. Like for example the cooking slash food system that we eventually got with the Beyond update. But there is a lot more on this list right here. A lot of stuff that has been data mined since then as well which is why in this video I want to share all of this information with you guys and kind of make an idea of what to expect from whatever update Hello Games has planned for the later part of this year. So let's jump into it and as always a thumbs up on this video would be super awesome. We also have the March giveaway up and running and if you didn't get a chance to check it out yet you can win the game of your choice by just following the links in the description down below. Once you get there sign up on the website, pick the game you want from the list of games and at the end of the giveaway I'm going to announce the winner here on YouTube as well as via the email address provided. As always a huge thank you to Instant Gaming for helping me with these giveaways. Now I want to start things off with some of the base building parts that didn't make it into the game even though they were data mined and I'm specifically going to go over this list right here. Now some of these entries look familiar like for example we have a mention of a solar panel at some point which eventually did make it into the game but there's a lot over here that actually didn't make it and one of the things that caught my eye immediately was this entry with a turret but it does sound that at some point Hello Games at least took into consideration that we might want to add some defenses to our base probably something that would tie in with another feature and something that we talked about here on this channel as well in the past though it was a very long while ago like what if our bases were under attack by alien forces maybe even players and we got to put these turret defenses if you ever played like turret defense games it's exactly what it sounds like. You put turrets, you, you put all of those defense mechanisms on your base and these will protect your base when you're not there to stick around. Maybe you're on your journeys in the galaxy, but this would be super awesome if it existed in the game because it kind of brings another layer to the whole base building thing and I think it would fit No Man's Sky very well, especially since it's been like a couple of years at this point since Hello Games is heavily focusing on base building in general. So I would definitely love to see a turret defense added in this game and kind of have like an invasion or swarm mode to just come in, attack our bases and have all of these awesome, you know, um, kind of like alien battles going on in space. That would be something that I would really love to see more of. Um, of course we have other entries over here, like there's a mention of a wind turbine and it seems that Hello Games um, considered additional sources of generating electricity, not just the ones that we already have have like the solar panels um, the biofuel reactors or the electricity grid but this uh, this has been considered as well and I think it makes sense actually I'm not even sure why wind turbine hasn't yet been added since um, there's so much storm going on all over all over the galaxy basically like almost every planet you're visiting has some form of wind going on if not even like strong winds or straight out storms so this would be super awesome to kind of harness that energy and uh, give us another chance another source of uh, of powering up our entire base. Of course there's a lot more in here that uh, kind of looks interesting though I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work and um, we see this utility fence for example and uh, this could go hand in hand with the turret update like what if you set up a fence around your base either to protect it or maybe enclose it like what if for example the entire farming system was upgraded once more so that we can do more with the animals not just like milk them momentarily until they despawn or run away because currently if you want to farm animals you can't really enclose them since they obviously can escape any you know obstacle that you put down so if they added a fence um, hopefully it's going to be something like Minecraft that I talked about in the past and have them permanently sit over there and not despawn when you leave the planet or the system and come back so I would definitely love to see this and have like a perpetual way of gathering resources from all of these creatures the second thing that caught my attention was some Something called research station according to which um, it's basically an advanced data analysis station of particular use to explorers attempting to catalog a planet in its entirety the station takes in environmental data and offers its prediction for likely 
technology locations, of undiscovered creatures, and of, uh, of description right here. So it basically sounds like it's another one of those autonomous machines that you put down on a planet, power it up, but unlike the other ones that we have that extract gas or minerals, this one does scanning. So kind of like a probe, which definitely makes sense. We have all of this tech at our disposal, we have, um, you know, a huge freighter with a ton of tech in it, it's surprising that we don't have a probe at this point to send on a planet and do the discovery for us. So yeah, this sounds like a nice alternative to the manual, you know, just scanning of plants and creatures on planets. It's kind of tedious after the fifth planet, so this would go really well and give you more reasons to go exploring or at the very least placing down one of these on a certain planet and then just leave it to do its thing. A third one, or well in this case a fourth one, would be something called Starship Radio which I think make a lot of sense considering that we had races for exocrafts ever since the Pathfinder update when they were first introduced. So apparently there's an entry over here for something called a Starship Race Initiator, very similar to the Exocraft Race Initiator, and the description reads the following. This platform acts as a start and finish line for Starship field tests, allowing travelers to practice maneuvering and speed. So this would make total sense in the setting of No Man's Sky, especially now that we have the low flight mode that has been adjusted over the years as well. Um, but the one thing that kind of worries me in regards to this is if this is going to come up with an upgrade to the ship maneuverability or maybe even add new ways of controlling our ships. Like I really wish we could do an instant barrel roll without actually having to rotate our cameras, make it a little bit more arcadey and kind of bring this ship or starship race with an upgrade for the overall combat and ship maneuverability. That would be something that would tie in really well but even on its own probably you could go in and do tight maneuverings with a fully upgraded ship too since um, they would have all of the control necessary for that but for ships lower than that it would probably be a little bit you know just annoying to control them since they aren't all that responsive um anyway there's a lot of entries over here too of course we talked about the next entry extensively in the past, we already anticipated this, um, of course the customization for ships and multi-tools that we talked about so many times in the past, but yes, there is a separate entry for both of these, so there is a customize underscore ship starship modification, so at the very least we're gonna get some new additional ways of controlling the visuals of our ships, not entirely sure when this is going to happen, but I I'm, I'm betting high on the next update to bring this, I'm really betting it and I'm really expecting it for whatever comes next to finally include the customization of the ships that we were talking about. So I'm not gonna sit on this too much, there's already been talks about this in the past. The last thing that I do wanna talk, well the last thing since there's a ton of them in there, um, there's more trade ship interactions than uh, planned and more than has been already released with the living ship. In the living ship you already got the trader interactions, when you go in space, a trader comes up to you and kinda offers you his inventory, or kinda comes in and sells you a very valuable relic at a certain price, well apparently uh, Hello Games came in with uh, more options and more interactions, not just these, like for example, um, there is an entry over here for uh, somebody getting attacked by pirates and they request aid from you to take them down and help them so this would work kind of similar to um, the scenario where you repair their ship they give you a little bit of nanites as well as standing with your current faction so i could see this uh, happening and there's actually multiple of these over there like pirate attacks, damaged ships, but everything else is something that already exists with the living ship update, so the only logical explanation for a future update is to also add these pirate attacks on the ships as well. Anyway, on a final note we have something called the wormhole and there seems to be a connection to our fleet, not entirely sure how this will work, because it kind of sounds like it works like black holes, we can already like teleport or well warp with our fleet, so I'm not entirely sure how this works, but it could be tied to some some kind of mission since there appears to be some form of dialogue going on over here with our characters, so it is good to see you have not been scrambled, the maneuver was successful.
successful though the energy field appears to have dissipated and there's more entries here the wormhole has brought you directly to us and without any of the terrifying consequences some of our engineers predicted the operation appears to have used up the energy fluctuations but all is otherwise well um this kind of sounds like an alternative dialogue so you don't always get the same dialogue there's uh, two different ones that you know kind of say the same so not entirely sure how these wormholes even work maybe they've decided to kind of add a, a more cinematic effect to us you know using the warp from our freighters and kind of act that as a wormhole and you know kind of like a uh, polishing feature just make something that already exists be a little bit cooler it would make sense since currently when you use warp from inside of your freighter it kind of looks underwhelming you just you know teleport over there like you just stepped through a teleporter and i'm not really sure if you can even see your your uh, freighter at the very least but anyway there's more entries over here that we can go over i'm gonna link the list down below you can follow and do some extensive reading on this but there is strong indication that this might happen at some point obviously a lot of the stuff that is above what I just showed you has been eventually added so I have high expectations that these will be added as well in the future